for our fans along the shoreline. Eight minutes. Eight minutes away until Rivertown Pizza. H1 Unlimited Heat number two. Brad, for our fans arriving a little bit late today. These are the world's fastest racing boats. The unlimited hydroplanes, 28 foot length, 14 foot width. All five unlimiteds in the pit area are powered by a T55 Lycoming turbine engine. Generates 2,600 horsepower. Of course, the unlimiteds are well capable of going over 200 miles per hour. These are the longest straightaways on the circuit here in Madison. And Brad, at the end of each shoot here in Madison, 190 is not in doubt. They could click up to 195 miles per hour at the end of each shoot. We're seven minutes and five seconds until the start. Unlimited, unlike ProLite and GPA, it is a fight for lane. Clock start, lots of rules before the start and during the races. Should be a lot of fun. We're 650 away into Rivertown Pizza, H1 Unlimited, heat number two. It'll be a three boat, heat two. See when we get toward a final heat and lane selection or whichever lane you. Unlimited, heat number two here on the two and one half mile on the Ohio Gold U91 Goodman Real Estate. Jamie Nielsen halfway up the back chute and Miss Colleen, the Chartreuse Royal Blue and Carnival Orange. U11 from the Unlimited Racing Group. Brad, all three drivers are well separated from each other. 225 until the start. Still lots to decide before you set your lane prior to the entrance pin of turn number two prior to the start. Yeah, at the top end of the race course, when you go past the entrance pin to turn two at the top end, whatever lane you are in prior to the start, that's the one you must hold all the way down to the start finish line and across it. At that time, normal overlap rules come into play. You have to have at least seven boat lengths. And the officials tell the drivers at the driver's meeting, if you've got seven boat lengths, make sure you got eight or nine because they don't want anything close. Everybody's just still being very well behaved. Coming up on 145, Jeff. Bernard, as in the first heat earlier today, right now is parking the Miss Madison Racing. U91, Miss Goodman Real Estate in lane number one. Right now, his strategy appears to be working in fine fashion to get the inside lane. Jamie Nielsen, that position on the race course, and Miss Colleen, he'll go down to turn number one, and no doubt, Jimmy Shane on the outside. We'll go to turn number one as well in the U1, Miss Home Street. Brad, I'll bring the fleet down to one minute, 115 away. Two entries from Miss Madison Racing going up against the Unlimited Racing Group's U11, Miss Colleen. Five, four, three, two, one, mark. One minute period has begun for Rivertown Pizza. H1, Unlimited Heat number two. Brad Luce set these lanes, take them up to the Milton Madison Bridge. And I think the way they're running on the backstretch right now is the way they are going to come to the start finish line. Jeff Bernard approaches the Milton Madison Bridge. He is in lane one. Lane number two belongs to Jamie Nielsen, driving the U11 of Miss Colleen. Then it is going to be Jimmy Shane on the far outside in the U1, the Miss Home Street. We watched the Home Street this morning running some test laps out here. Jimmy was running them right up against the outside course marker at the start finish line. We kind of suspected he might go wide. Looks like that's what he's going to do. Inside 20 seconds, Jeff, bring him home. Jeff Bernard, lane one. Jamie Nielsen, lane two. Jimmy Shane might have the best start of all out in lane number three. Madison, buckle up. It's Rivertown Pizza H1 Unlimited Heat 2. We're five, four, three, two, one. Mark, we're racing in H1 Unlimited Heat number two. All three right there at the line. We'll call it physically into turn number one. The start was good. Lap number one, three boats into turn number one. Who gets there first? It's Jamie Nielsen, Miss Colleen, but Shane is there where he is. Bernard, Shane, triple decker. Off the corner, you got all three boats running side by side. Down the back stretch. Jimmy Shane came out of the corner like he was shot out of a cannon. Nielsen in lane two got into rough water at the apex of the turn, but he got it squared away and he's in second place, but Bernard is closing on the inside. Shane on the far outside. He's got to leave two. Nine 
nice wide lanes as he goes around the upper end of the race course. And Nielsen is running right with him. Jeff there, right side by side, a great run off the top end of the race course. Super sweet dueling here in H1 Unlimited Heat number two. Bernard has dropped back and Shane with the ponies on the outside. We'll come down to complete lap number one. Your leader, Jimmy Shane and Miss Homestreet making a five vote length advantage over Jamie Nielsen in second and Miss Colleen. Now Bernard in third. That's going to be tough maneuvering in there. Nielsen could come over with the overlap. Back into turn number one. Shane gets there first, but Nielsen driving a dandy. And it is deck to deck action off the turn. Here we go again off the lower corner. Bernard dropping back in the 91 to Goodman Real Estate. Shane with plenty of real estate to deal with through the corner. It's a little tougher on Jamie Nielsen, but he's handling that inside lane very well. Now halfway up the back stretch. Shane starting to open it up. Not quite a full rooster tail over Jamie Nielsen and the Miss Colleen. Bernard's dropped back from Jamie Nielsen. So it is Shane and Nielsen as they approach the top end of the course on lap number two of three. Shane driving him clean, leaving him lots of room. Jeff, plenty of room. Nielsen driving a beautiful race on the inside and Miss Colleen, but Shane continues to lead in Madison, Indiana's U1, Miss Home Street. We look above, white flag is displayed. Two complete and one more to go for Jimmy Shane in front and Rivertown Pizza H1, unlimited heat number two. Make it now close to a 15 boat length advantage over Jamie Nielsen in second. And Miss Colleen, Jeff Bernard remains in third in Miss Goodman Real Estate. Right now, Brad, Nielsen has drove well. He's closing, but right now, all three drivers might settle in these positions. Yeah, I think that's what's going to happen. Nielsen's doing a great job on the inside, and you can see the value of that inside lane. He closes up on Jimmy Shane. He tightens up the lead as they get to the exit pin of the corner, but he has to scruff off so much speed going through that tight corner. Shane's able to keep it wound up on the outside. I think they'll stay and finish like this unless something dramatic happens at the top end. Shane with almost a full rooster tail, Jeff. Final turn, final lap. Nielsen drove a doozy on the inside, but time is running out. Madison, Indiana. We look above, checkered flag waving. Will it be two for two? Yes, for the hometown boat. Jimmy Shane wins Rivertown Pizza. H1 Unlimited, heat number two. Beautiful run by Jamie Nielsen. And U11, Miss Colleen to get second. The second Miss Madison entered, Jeff Bernard will cross in third in U91, Goodman Real Estate. All right, Brad, the lanes were perfect. Fastest boat to the outside, improving boat in the middle, Bernard on the buoys. Beautiful sight, beautiful pictures, clean dueling. I like it. I like it a lot too. And here we are with only our second unlimited race of the day. And you've already had the opportunity for the triple decker. You played that card when they came off the corner on lap number one, but it was a triple decker. And there's nothing better when they fan out like that. The sun gets on those gorgeous colors. But how about Jamie Nielsen driving to U11 and Miss Colleen? They have struggled, they have chased their tail, but they kept working, working, working. Solid second place. Could the George Brett pine tar tape on the microphone benefit the 11? Looks like they've got some good luck on their side. Brad, if you get a chance, could you get Scott to come over and talk to us? So Brad Lou's going to see if we can get a word with uh, Scott Rainey, the uh, crew chief co-owner of the U11 Miss Colleen. I think he's going to go back to attend to his boat because I'm sure he's tickled pink to talk to his driver, Jamie Nielsen, the one-time Major League Baseball draftee of the Kansas City Royals. You're going to love this. I did talk to Scott Rainey as he came by, boat owner Scott Rainey, and he was very nonchalant. He said, we're making progress. We're getting better. Oh. He said that blue boat's really quick. <laughs> the understatement of the day so far. But... I, I love the attitude. It wasn't, yeah, we made it. We're there. We're able to. No, we're, we're making progress. The 11 looks good, and Brad, the benefit, the strategy for the Miss Colleen, they have drawn both three boat heats today. Yes. Yes, because our next heat, you're going to have the two strong boats that didn't run in this heat, the 8 and the 9, and you're going to have Jamie Nielsen and the U11 who did not run in the first heat of the day. That 300 along with those qualifying points looks very pretty right now for the U11, Miss Colleen, but 
Two for two for Madison, Indiana, the fans along the shoreline. We know their routine interest is for the home street, blue and white, Miss Home Street. Jimmy Shane returning to the pit dock, and that boat is flawless, led by crew chief Mike Hansen. And right now, Brad, the Miss Home Street is right on top of their game after two elimination heats, and they'll go right into the final. Well, they'll just move right on into the final. That's where they want to be. So now they can just sit back, kind of watch a little bit of the racing, decide what the setup's going to look like. Did they like that run on the outside? Is that the way they want to set the boat up for the final? They were inside earlier in the day in Delane 2. Do they want to set the boat up that way? And for our fans that may be new to H1 Unlimited Racing here or hydroplane racing, it is all about boat setup. It's like riding a bicycle. Do you want to be in a lower gear where you can pedal real hard and you can accelerate real quick, but you don't have any top end, or do you want to go the other way, put it in a taller gear, wind it up on the outside, and carry a whole bunch of speed? That's real easy to say, and it's real easy to talk about. You set the boat up to run on an outside lane, all of a sudden you get forced inside, and then you're in trouble. But once again, everything is unofficial. The boats will go through technical inspection. So your unofficial winner of Rivertown Pizza H1 Unlimited Heat number two is Jimmy Shane, Miss Home Street. Second place, Jamie Nielsen, Miss Colleen. Third position to Jeff Bernard and Miss Goodman Real Estate. Coming up next, make your way to the media tent for the driver's autograph session, sponsored by Phyllis and Tony Steinhardt. Stand by, Jordan Bear will get a word in with your winning driver here in approximately 30 seconds, you'll hear from Jimmy Shane. Stand by. Attention All right, Jeff Hale, Brent Luce, I have the unofficial winner of Unlimited Heat 2, Jimmy Shane, in the U1, Miss Home Street. Jimmy, you were on the outside this time, but man, around turn one, you showed off that speed, and man, what a run from the outside. Yeah, the setup we got to the boat right now is fantastic. We got some really good straight, uh, straight end speed on the straightaway, so uh, I, think, um, I think we're looking good going into the final heat, and uh, I really just need to keep the thing clean. Uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a much tighter race than what uh, everybody's thinking right now. The nine boat is sneaky fast, and so uh, we're gonna we're gonna see what we got for them uh, come final time. Talk about your run so far because you brought on the inside. Now this was the first time this weekend that you brought from just the outside of multiple boats. Talk about the kind of the difference between running on the outside and inside on the Ohio River. Well, the boat likes any, uh, any place you put it on the race course right now. And so uh, we were able to double check some of our timing marks uh, if we end up having the outside lane for the final heat, which uh, that was a perfect opportunity that heat to, to double check all that stuff. And uh, I think we're, we're in good shape. You got, again, a few hours now to rest. You got to take another nap? Take another nap. Take another... <laughs> it's time? All right. Well, Jimmy, good luck this afternoon, okay? Appreciate it. Thanks so much. All right, thank you, Jeff Taylor Bradley's back to you guys. Thank you, Jordan Bear. Attention in the pits. Attention in the pits. A gray Nissan Murano. This is your last chance from Madison Regatta. Illinois license plate number FP158365. You need to move that vehicle immediately.